conflict in the Middle East, protesters are flooding the streets of Israeli cities in what may be the largest demonstration since the war began. Tens of thousands demanding Prime Minister Netanyahu reach a deal for the release of hostages held in Gaza after six more were found dead this weekend. ABC's M. Wynn has more from Washington. This morning, after massive demonstrations in Israel, a national labor strike erupting in protest of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's failure to reach a ceasefire deal with Hamas. Israel's largest trade union, the Histadrut, aiming to shut down or disrupt major sectors of the economy from banking to health care to the country's main airport. Sunday, tens of thousands of Israelis poured into the streets after six more hostages, including one American, were found dead in Gaza. Israeli forensics determined Hamas shot all six of them at close range between Thursday and Friday morning. Earlier, Netanyahu saying whoever murders hostages does not want a deal. Among the hostages killed, 23-year-old American Hirsch Goldberg Poland. This morning, his parents saying they are left with broken hearts at news of his death. Just days after the October 7th attack, when their son seen here was taken at that music festival, they spoke of the last text message they received from him. There were two messages in a row at 8-11. The first one said, I love you. And the second one said, I'm sorry. So I immediately knew something terrible had happened. Um, I tried immediately to call him and it rang and rang and rang. I wrote, are you OK? No answer. Are you OK? Let me know you're OK. The wife of Israeli-American hostage Keith Siegel, Aviva, a former captive released in November, saying her husband, shown alive in a Hamas video in April, same time as Goldberg Poland, could be killed at any moment. We got the proof of life, but you know what? It's worth nothing. It's worth nothing. He could be killed now. He could be tortured now, starving and screaming for help. We need all the hostages out. President Biden and Vice President Harris have spoken to Goldberg Poland's parents to offer their condolences. This, as Israel says, it believes there are still 101 hostages in Gaza, including seven Americans. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.